Howdy folks, I'm Brian. I'm Amber. And here's some Reddit. Our first story is titled, Am I a Jerk for Telling My Adult Daughter the Truth About Why I Wasn't in Her Life? Throw away for very obvious reasons. Recently, I got back in contact with my daughter M after having nothing to do with her since her birth. She's 25 now, but honestly, I wasn't around from her birth all the way through to when her mother died a couple years ago. Now, I know I'm not a perfect person here, I've done some bad things, but in this case, I don't think I was a bad guy. M's mother and I dated for about a year after I graduated high school in 95, while I was just in college. I'll be honest, her mother was a rebound girl. Never thought it would be a long-term relationship or anything. We became close and did a couple things, but I always made certain to use protection. I didn't want kids at that stage in my life, and I thought I made it clear to M's mom. After coming back from vacation one summer, I'm surprised to find that her apartment is empty, and she dropped off the face of the earth. Poof, gone. Over the past few years, I have often wondered what happened, but any attempts at finding M's mother failed. A couple of months ago, I got a visitor out of the blue, and after some awkward moments, M introduced herself as my daughter. She wanted to know her dad, but at the same time, I felt this hostility there. She was angry, rightly so, at me for not being in her life, and I got the impression that this was a, well, I can say I met him type of thing. She told me how her mother had died a couple years prior, only after finally telling her my full name and to go look for me. It had taken her that long to finally track me down. She wanted to know everything I'd been doing to that point, while I still found it hard to believe. Eventually, she asked why I had never been in her life, and I told her two reasons. One, I didn't know you existed, and two, your mom completely vanished on me. She didn't believe this and scoffed. But telling her my own story about what happened seemed to mesh up with some things her own mom had told her. This has created a problem. M practically hates her mother for what she did. She accepts that I didn't even know that she existed and couldn't find her, so she can't fault me for that. However, she worshipped her mom, and now she's finding out that not only did her mom lie to her about the reason I wasn't around, but now she even questions her own birth. Was it some stunt by her mother to force me to stay around? We talked from time to time, but her mom has gone from being respected to that lying bee, among other things. I genuinely feel bad about this, and I wonder if I was a jerk for telling the truth and destroying whatever memories M had about her mother. So, am I the jerk? All right, OP, you know, I can't fault you here. You didn't know the repercussions of this, and... I think that you can sit down with your daughter and try to say that, well, while your mom may have done some things that were bad, she was still in your life and she still tried to do the best that she could for you. And I think that it's important to stress that while she made some potentially bad decisions, she's not a bad individual. And that you personally don't have any resentment against her. You just wish you had known the reason why she left. And you can also say that maybe she got afraid and she ran away because she was pregnant and became overwhelmed by the situation, which in all likelihood is what happened. And then she didn't know what to do, so she lied. And the problem with lying is that when you start lying, it's difficult to stop. You know, you have to continue to make lies around the original lie, and, you know, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt, and I think that's probably what happened here. You know, the big reason why she probably never wanted to give your name away to her daughter was because she knew she had been lying, and she didn't want to fall in the eyes of her daughter, so to speak. And that's happened now. Your daughter probably needs to seek professional help. Uh, she has a lot of things to unload here. And I think the important thing is to stress to her that her mom may have made some mistakes, but her mom still loved her and still wanted to be in her life. And so I think that's really what this boils down to. So no, you're not the jerk, but you're kind of stuck in the crosshairs of a really unfortunate situation. So anyhow, take care and good luck.
not the jerk, she deserved the truth. But I don't know why she thinks her mom got pregnant to keep you around if she ghosted you like that or without ever telling you. It sounds a lot like the mom wanted a baby and didn't really want a dad in the picture, or else got pregnant by accident and later because she didn't want to deal with co-parenting. Info, it doesn't make sense that this was a stunt to get you to stick around, as she didn't tell you that she was pregnant. Is there a reason that both of you reject the obvious answer? Your ex took you at your word, and you didn't want a kid, accidentally got pregnant, and was unwilling to have an abortion or give up the baby, and decided to move on so you wouldn't have to be involved? I think this is still not great behavior, but it's hardly in the act of a monster. More like a confused young woman who wants her baby without dragging you into fatherhood. And OP replies, I had more info in the first post of this, but it exceeded the 3000 character limit, so I'm fully expecting this question. To answer your question, I made it clear when we first started dating that I was hurting, that I experienced a very bad breakup of my high school sweetheart and thought we would talk about it. I specifically told her that I felt that I wasn't ready at being 19 to have kids. She would sometimes joke that she wanted a child, but respected my feelings on the matter. We'd taken a break around the time my family went on vacation, and during that time, I'd largely grown over the relationship. Sure, it was nice and all, but after some serious soul-searching, I realized that I didn't love her and just loved the things that we did together both physical and otherwise. Today, I suppose you would call her friends with benefit, but at the time, I didn't know the term, being rather innocent about many things. Also, I didn't know if this was worth noting, but she was 35. So yeah, I was a young guy with an older woman and was loving every minute of it. Well, I mean, that actually, you know, her being 35 kind of puts a lot of context into this story here so it sounds more like she probably you know did want a kid and just you know left our next story is titled am i a jerk for calling my childless brother on his choice of wearing a father's day shirt to the family barbecue okay i am a 42 year old male and i'm the youngest sibling of four kids and our parents are still alive and in their late 70s We met at my parents' house every year to celebrate the dads in our family on Father's Day. My brother is the oldest, at 52, with a wife and no kids. Next is the sister, 49, with two kids, one of whom is an adult. Then we have a mildly psychotic sister, at 46, with two kids and a stepson. Love the the additional commentary here on that one. Lastly, myself with two children and three stepchildren. I get it, my brother feels left out, but the shirt he was wearing totally kind of made me mad. The shirt read, the guy wearing this shirt is a great father. It must be true because mommy got him this shirt. With the picture of his dog on the back. I was the first to arrive with my family and then my brother. So I didn't call him out in front of the crowd, but I did call him out. I asked him when he had a kid. He ignored me. So my mom asked what I was asking him. I repeated the question. Then his wife went off at how it's his day too and having a dog is just like having a kid and I'm a jerk for even pointing it out. My parents just laughed it off, but I'm annoyed still. Am I the jerk for calling him out on his shirt or do dog dads deserve equal recognition on Father's Day? All right, OP. I think you're taking Father's Day a little too seriously here. I mean, let him have his fun. He's just wearing a t-shirt. You know, if he wants to consider himself the father to his dog, let him. Why does it matter to you? It doesn't impact you in the least. I mean, it seems like you're just making a mountain out of a molehill here. I mean, why does it matter? What did it do to harm you? I mean, really, what harm has this caused you? It's a t-shirt. It was a joke. I think you need to take a step back, reevaluate your priorities about what being in a family is and having family time is, because it seems like instead of enjoying a gathering, a family gathering, you decided to make a big deal out of it and, you know, do whatever the whatever you did here. So, yeah, not cool. So anyhow, take care and good luck. Why do you even care? You're getting all worked up for a non-issue. You're the jerk. 
I can't believe someone took the time to post this. Right? It's a freaking shirt. We all know kids and dogs aren't the same. If he wants to think they are, then how is that harming OP in any way? The shirt is stupid, but it's not causing any harm to you, OP. So for freaking out over something so ridiculously trivial, you're the jerk. His shirt is lame, but you're the jerk big time. You chose to start a fight and ruin a family celebration for yourself and others. What did you gain? What was him wearing a shirt going to cost you? Did you really need so much attention on Father's Day that his shirt was such a threat to you? Father's Day is about you, your dad, and your kids. Leave your brother out of it. Yeah. Well, another thing that actually bothers me about this post is how OP calls one of his sisters psychotic. Unprompted. Like, that was completely unnecessary information here. It didn't do anything for the story. And I think that it really kind of shows the kind of person OP is here. I mean, he's kind of a petty, mean person. And petty, mean people like to do things like this. That's my thought. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider giving it a like. If you didn't, consider giving it a dislike. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.